So now we have uh, question number 12 from January 2017. I have a request to answer this question, so I will do so. This is a question about um, integration. I'm going to do 12 part B. That's what I've been requested to answer. As we're running out of time now before the exam, so I'll do the parts that are requested unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, <clears throat> part B says find using calculus the, a calculus the area of R giving your answers to two decimal places. So we need to find the area of this shaded region. Now this shaded region is um, under the curve, but it's not quite all the way to the x-axis in some parts. So what we need to do is we go to the point P. Okay, the, the, it goes up to the point P, this shaded region. And we'll drop it down here. We know that this is 4. Okay. Now, what we, what we need to know is a few things. If we find the area under the curve between 1 and 4, that will be the whole of this area here. If I remove from that, or take away from that, the area of this triangle, I would have, you know, f um, basically found the equation. Um, I would have found the, the area that I need. Okay, so if I take away the area under the curve, or the area of the triangle from from the area under the curve between one and four, I would have got what I needed. Okay, so I know that the height of this triangle is eleven. Okay, I know the height of the triangle is eleven. What I need to know is the base of the triangle, which I can find from the previous answer, which we didn't do. So I'm going to get the previous answer. Okay, that will help. We'll, f we'll find the equation of this line L. Okay, and then from that we will work out um, the point at this point here, where we can um, we can then work out the area of this triangle. So the equation of this line L, the equation of the line L was y equals 5x minus 9. Okay, that was from part A of the question, which we didn't actually do here. All right, that is um, the previous part of the question. So we need to find the point where the line cuts the x-axis. That's the point when y equals 0. When y equals 0, you've got 5x minus 9 equals 0. So 5x equals 9. So x is equal to 9 divided by 5. So x is equal to 1 and 4 fifths, which is 1.8. So I know that this point is 1.8. So I know that the base of the triangle is 4 minus 1.8. Okay, which is going to give you 2.2. Um, 2.2 plus 1.8 will give you 4. So I can work out the area of the triangle, and I can work out the area under the curve between 1 and 4, and that will leave me with the shaded area. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay, so first of all, let's find the area under the curve between 1 and 4. So you've got y equals 3 quarters x squared minus 4 times, I'm going to write that as x to the power of a half. Okay, so, so it's ready to be integrated. All right, so I need to integrate that function between, as we said, the points 1 and 4. So I'll give you the area under the curve all the way, all the area under the curve, okay, between 1 and 4. So between 1 and 4, I need to integrate this function, which is 3 over 4 x squared minus 4 x to the power of a half plus 7. I'll integrate that with respect to x. And I've got to take away from that the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is a half times a base times a height. So it's a half times 2.2 .2 times 11. A half times 2.2 .2 times 11. Okay, so let's now um, integrate this. Let's integrate this. So you have 3 quarters x cubed over 3. 3 quarters x cubed over 3, the 3 will cancel that out, leaving you with x squared over 4. x cubed over 4, sorry. x cubed over 4. Okay, you add 1 to the power and you divide by the new power. Okay, but when you divide by the new power, 
that new number, that 3, will cancel with this 3. Then you've got minus 4x. We add 1 to the power, so we're going to put to the power 3 over 2. I'm just going to write it like this for now. Divided by 3 over 2, we'll simplify that later. So you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. Okay? Plus and 7x. No need to put plus c, because we're integrating a definite integral. 1, 4, minus, you're going to have, um, that's going to be 1.1 times 11, isn't it? So 1.1 multiplied by 11 gives you 12.1. Okay, just make sure. A half, 0.5 times, what was it? 2.2 times 11. That's right, that gives you 12.1. Okay, so minus 12.1. And we've got to take that away. So let's continue now. Let's simplify this expression first. So this is like 4 times 3 of 4 divided by 3 over 2. So this is like 4 divided by 3 over 2, which is 4 times 2 over 3. Okay? Which is 8 over 3. So you got x cubed over 4 minus 8 over 3 x the power of 3 over 2 plus 7x minus 12.1. And this is between the limits 1 and 4 for this. So you're going to have to put one 4 in there first. You're going to have 4 cubed, which is 64 over 4, which is 16. Minus. If you put 4 into here, you've got 4 to the power of 3 over 2, which is the cube root of 4 squared. So, sorry, the square root of 4 cubed. Isn't it? The power is the, is, is, is the numerator and the root is the denominator. So the square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8. So that's going to give you 8 over 3 times 8. 8, 8 is 64, so it will be 64 over 3. Okay, so that's 64 over 3 plus 7 times 4, which is 28, minus, and now you've got to put 1 into there. So you have 1 quarter minus 8 over 3, whatever you do to 1, square it, cube it, all right, find the square root of it, it'll always be 1, okay, minus 8 over 3, plus 7, okay, that's the area under the curve, and then you've got to take away the area of the triangle, which is 12.1, okay, so we can just stick this into our calculator and continue. Okay, so let's just do that. Here we have 16 plus 28. And minus 64 over 3. Okay, that's 68 over 3. Minus, then we're going to have um, a quarter. Let me put this in a bracket. A quarter. Minus 8 over 3. Oops. Minus 8 over 3. And plus 7. Close bracket. Okay. That will be the area under the whole curve. And we've got to take away from that 12.1. Take away 12.1 which gives us an answer, which is 359 over 60. Okay, that's 359 over 60. And the question, I think, told us to give an answer to two decimal places. Yes, it did. Okay, so we just press the ST button. It gives you 5.983, so you write 5.98 as your final answer. 5.98. Units squared. Okay, that's the area under the curve. Take away the area of the triangle. Give us the shaded region R. I hope that was clear. Okay, and if you want me to do part A, let me know and I'll do part A as well. Thank you for watching.